Good evening. I'd like to call the order of the December 28, 2016 council meeting. Councilmember Chapman? Here. Councilmember Clayton? Here. Councilmember Kendall? Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Here. Mayor Moore? Here. Would everybody please rise for a silent prayer moment of reflection, please? Flag salute. Pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As to comply with the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in the following manner. The annual notice was forwarded to the Asbury Park Press, the Coaster, and the Star Ledger on January 6, 2016, and posted on the bulletin board the same date. All notices are on file with the City Clerk. Matters by uh, City Council? I have nothing at this time. Uh, yes. I'd like to, number one, thank all those people and organizations that collected <coughs> coats and toys and distributed them during the Christmas holidays and that's truly the Christmas spirit. And also the winners of the holiday decorating contest were for the businesses, it was Costa Volo and um, Moonstruck. And for the residents, it was Rebecca Cavallo and Dan Shanameo. Shim <laughs> Manayo. <laughs> And last, I'd like to thank Officer Gray, who got, on a personal note, I locked myself out of my house and he was nice enough to help me get back in. So, thank you and Happy New Year. Thank you. Next, okay. Um, Michael, maybe not the next meeting, but the following meeting. Is there any way possible we get an update on West Side Community Center? We don't have to talk about it tonight because we, you know. That's it for me. Oh, Happy New Year's, everyone, to also. <laughs> All six of you. <laughs> There's thousands on TV, man. <laughs> Dedicated people. Uh, I, I want to mimic what Yvonne said to thank the number of organizations, in particular Connie Breach and the Asbury Park Toy Drive that gave out um, over 400 families received toys due to that toy drive. Um, so, yeah, thank you to all of those organizations. Uh, I concur. Thank you to everybody. Uh, again, wishing everybody a safe and happy new year. Question and concern. Since we have a terrible record of finishing projects on time, have the people working on the footbridge gone on strike? Because there's been no work in two beautiful weeks of weather that I know of. And so when this isn't done in a timely fashion, what's the answer going to be? If it's not done in a timely fashion, it's liquidated damages, and I'll get an engineer's report for you tomorrow. Okay, but I go by there every day, and there's nobody working for the past two weeks, and it's been nice weather. Thank you. Matters from the city manager? None at this time. Matters by city attorney? Nothing at this time. All right, at this time, I'd like to have a motion to open the meeting to the public. Move it. Second. Motion to close. <laughs> Each member has three minutes to speak. When you come up to the mic, please state your name and address for the record, please. Motion to close. Move. Okay. Nobody like to be heard? Second. No, hold yeah. on. Uh, uh, Oops. Take that second back. Uh -huh. Motion to close. Motion to close. Good evening. Uh, Ernest Magnoli, 400 Deal Lake Drive, apartment 5D, Asbury Park, New Jersey. Uh, I just uh, wanted to apprise the city legal counsel that uh, it's my second year now uh, involved with uh, holiday decorations. It's my second year being unsuccessful in Asbury with equal representation. In particular, uh, for the past two years, uh, a menorah has been donated to the city, housed in DPW, and installed in Fireman's Memorial Park. And this year now, another menorah was donated. 
and placed in Kennedy Memorial Park. Installed the electric and everything's fine. It's beautiful. I'm very happy for that. However, uh, in my interest, which is equal representation, I've, did a study, I've done a study of 15 surrounding municipalities. 12 have a holiday tree, a menorah, and a nativity scene. Two have a holiday tree only, Long Branch and West Long Branch. There's only one in my study that has a holiday tree and a menorah only. Now, the city accepted a donation of the menorahs, and this is the second year that my donation from Sunset Avenue Florist, a nice big nativity scene to go along with it, has been refused by the city manager. Last year, I sent an email apprising the city manager. He sent me an email back saying that his answer was no, and that should I try and install or donate a nativity scene, as he put it on private property, which it's not, it's a public park, that myself, a homeowner taxpayer, could be subject to criminal trespass and arrest. So I let it at that, and then I obtained a uh, street performer's license, and I installed uh, my own menorah nativity scene on a transportable device in the park. And I came every morning at 10, and came every night at 9, and removed it because that's how the ordinance works. So now we come upon this year, and the same thing happened. Uh, I've left <coughs> messages for the city manager. This year I get no response. My offer is the same. There's the uh, $400 nativity scene at the Sunset Florist waiting. I go there with my Jeep. I call the city. I email. I don't get a response. So now, uh, with 22 seconds left, uh, I am going to proceed with uh, uh, a municipal matter, a complaint against the city. And I'm now waiting for probable cause. And the, the, the complaint is going to be based on uh, a bias discrimination. So that's where it stands. I'm sorry it has to come to this, but that's what it has to come to. Before I say, Michael, do you want to respond, I got to ask Fred, since I think <coughs> we've just been threatened with a lawsuit, can we respond? Excuse me? I'm talking to the attorney. <clears throat> what I will do is, uh, and, and I've seen some of the emails that Mr. Magnoli has sent, um, so I'll be happy to review it with administration, and I think it's probably best for us to leave it at that. Okay. Uh, this is not a lawsuit. This is a criminal case. I'm signing a criminal complaint. Okay. Uh, 2C16- I'm sure the council is aware of it. 2C16-1-2-2. Or ABC, which is bias discrimination based on religion, and I'm the victim. Okay. And here's the complaint. It's filed with the municipal court. I'm waiting for a judge for probable cause, and we'll proceed on that basis. Got no response, no reply. Okay. Now you you made your point, and okay. we'll, we'll listen to the attorney. And thank you. Motion to close. Move okay. it. Second. Okay, we have three sets of minutes this evening. We have minutes uh, for workshop session December 12, 2016, executive session minutes of December 14, 2016, and minutes of December 14, 2016 for the regular meeting. Can I have a motion to approve those minutes? Moved. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We'll move on to the consent agenda. Resolution 2016-477, resolution authorizing the payment of payroll in the amount of $955,506.98. Resolution 2016-478, authorizing compensation payment to Clint Davis upon his separation of employment. Resolution 2016-479, Public Health Nursing Services, January 1st, 2017 to December 31st, 2017. Resolution 2016-480, award a contract for regional contribution agreement project for 825 Dunluwe Street. And resolution 2016-481, resolution to credit sewer account 1505-2. 
1608 Sewell Avenue. Anybody wish any of the consent agenda resolutions to be pulled? I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Thank you. We're on to individual resolutions. The first one is resolution 2016 482. This is a resolution approving payment of bills. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. <coughs> Comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Oh, I'm sorry. Councilmember Chapman. Oh, I think it's right in front of me, too. Councilmember Chapman is abstaining from purchase order 16 03824 and 16-01067. With that, Councilmember Chapman. Yes. <laughs> Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Getting my new glasses in about a week. Mm -hmm. <coughs> resolution 2016-483. It's a resolution authorizing the transfer of appropriations in fiscal year 2016 budget. I will note there was a, a minor typographical error, typographical error for the municipal clerks. Um, there was believed two salary wages where the second one should have been OE. Have a motion to approve the resolution? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-484. <coughs> Resolution authorizing change order number one for the wastewater treatment plant generator relocation project. Have a motion, please. Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2016-485. Resolution authorizing change order number four for Springwood Avenue Park. Have a motion, please. Move it. Second. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-486. Identifying the menu items as per the subsequent developers agreement between the, between the City of Asbury Park, Madison Asbury Retail LLC, and Asbury Partners. Can I have a motion to move the resolution, please? Motion to table. Second. I should have told you that, Cindy. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. This resolution will be carried until next year. Okay. Next resolution is 2016-487. This is authorizing a contract with Thomas P. Miller and Associates to complete workforce development plan. Can I have a motion, please? Move Can it. Can you explain it first? Move it. I think we have to move it. Move it. Move it, move it second. Then. Have a second. <coughs> Explanation. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, this process began earlier in the year for the development move your mic back the yeah. bad. that's what the feedback is it's too close to your big mouth <laughs> oh your glasses that you need <laughs> uh this started earlier in the year um the pro the rfp process the city issued an rfp earlier in the year for a consultant to do a and perform a workforce development plan the plan in would mirror and mimic the state four-year workforce development plan and the county's four-year workforce development plan, identifying what target sectors are, um, demand occupations, who the service providers are, what recommendations the city should take to help individuals looking for employment. Um, as everyone knows, the city has the highest unemployment rate in the county, and this would be the first step to give a concrete um, plan to help remedy that and rectify that. Um, it, would identify all, all the service providers within the region. Um, we do have some redundancy from what I've seen of workforce development, whether job training, employment and training, um, employment skill sets. This, there was one firm that responded, Thomas Miller. Um, their references were phenomenal. They worked on the state and the county plan. So they, you know, they know what's going on with this. Um, we're recommending award 
from the staff, which is basically me, um, to begin this process. It's about eight months. Figure start in February, be done towards September. Um, we made it, the draft RFP had two items in it, one data intensive, so we can see who's doing what and where, what fields are working well. Um, and then to make sure that there's an implementation ma matrix of deliverables of things that we can do, identify funding sources, um, what nonprofits are doing what. There's a possibility, depending on how fast we can get it done and under budget, of identifying nonprofit funding. So it's going to give a deliverable that's an actual document that will say, here is how the city can start to try to reduce its un high unemployment. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. I have questions. This went out for RFP, RFQ in February of 16, and yeah. it was accepted in March. Yes. And we're in close to January of 17. Why not, since all the schedules are skewed, Number one, did we get in touch with the company and say, will you honor the price? Yes, everything has stayed the same. They've Every 60 days, we've gotten extension requests of, okay. you know, I emailed them saying, do you agree to extension? They said yes. Earlier today, they sent a, a revised updated timeline, updated timeline mm -hmm. with a date of February 1st through September because it's 21 days under the law to sign a contract. You figure so <clears throat> February 1st is a good day to start. That gives eight months towards completion. So it's probably the same schedule as last year, or close so, to it. Where uh, you last one, year it was supposed to end in November. Yeah, you move one or two months. Okay. W w the account number six zero one two zero. What's that account? That is administration O and E. So that could be carried over to next year. Well, it depends on how you want to do this. Um, well, I'm just, and I have other questions. I'm a little bit concerned. This sat on a shelf for. 11 months and now it's being given to us with like no work session no questions just saying here vote to spend $120,000 where like things have changed in a year some things have changed where like a year ago we didn't have the salt school and what that did we don't we have a different some of the basics have changed in Asbury Park also well I think there's there's two answers to that one this has been on the agenda at least three other times when and throughout the course of the year it's we'll definitely been on before. It, and when you say the salt, salt school changes it, I mean the salt school it's, served, it's a provider. I'm say 60 people. It's a provider so that would like be identified. It's overall encompassing workforce development plan. And the, the salt school city. would definitely be listed as a provider and more than likely something that should be replicated where follow the process steps. Do okay, you, the salt school worked. Isn't it correct we couldn't award it because of the problem with waiting for our transition? We couldn't award it until transitional aid was finished, um, until the budget could be adopted in September. I, I agree with that, and I acknowledge that. And I don't remember being on three times since September, just because, and I was going to suggest if that is the course we're going to do, don't put it put it in a temporary budget so we can move on it quicker. But, but, but this is, I, you can send me the documents later as far as what time, did we, Table? Did we kill it? Did it was discussed. It was tabled. Um, it was tabled due to the fact that we had to wait for the budget to be adopted in uh, September. After the budget was adopted, it was tabled. I believe in October again. It was sent out to everyone in October, um, and then it was said just hold off for another month or two, and then this is where we are. I don't believe. I'm thinking of the temporary budget right now. We would not be able to put this in the temporary budget. It, we would be in the same boat as we were this year of having to wait until the, the budget was adopted. Um, we could possibly put the money in reserve, but my concern then is that since we're over fiscal years, we probably have to go back out to bid, and then we couldn't use the reserve money. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. If we rebid this, do you think we would still want to get one bid? Yes. These okay. are the preeminent people in the country, it seems. And all the people that Tom, Dick, and Jane, they're still going to do all the work? They're still all work there? Everyone is still there. I talked to Jonathan, who's their business development okay. coordinator today. The cost, and I had these notes from back in February, so this is why I'm confused, like we never talked about before, because I would have asked these questions before we tabled it. And that's why I never asked these questions. 
There, there's built-in cost overruns already. The cost overruns are for additional meetings? Yeah, which, which they've already scheduled. They scheduled to be here six times to meet, six different months. But they only bill on us for five and say the additional cost is another $7,000. So that's a cost overrun. It, they, it was $3,500, it was like $3,450. $3,375 for the training and $33,000 for the travel. But they didn't think that they needed the sixth meeting. But they scheduled, it's in their schedule. I didn't make up their schedule, they did. I thought it was an optional, if I remember correctly. One, one schedule in May, April, one in June, one in July, one in September, one in October, one in November. That's six, and they're only bonus for five with an add-on. Is that the updated timetable? This is, this is the only thing I got. I didn't get an updated one. Did you just email that to me, Michael? Or did you email that to everyone? It was my email to everybody. What time? Uh, around five. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was here at 4.30, so I wouldn't get it. Don't you guys think we need to talk about this a little bit more? Well, it seems to be, I don't think we can talk about it. You're saying we can't carry it over to the first of the year? Because I, it would be over separate fiscal years. They would have one kickoff meeting in February. Um, there would be a meeting in April, which is in the industry-led sectors and regional local organizations um, in a public meeting. So April had three meetings, which two are going to be on the same day, if not all three. Right, um, right. There's six, Michael. I mean, one, two, April, June, July, September, October, November. They, they put in the asterisks, not me. I think, and I'll ask for clarification, that that one day in April is actually one day of meetings. Because you would be, you wouldn't come back and forth for industry-led, regional, and a public meeting. You wouldn't come back three separate times. It's the same thing like the um, the choice neighborhoods, where we had three meetings consecutively. It makes no sense to do three separate meetings across a month. Okay, I'm just reluctant to vote on something that was given to us. 10 months ago and being told we don't vote tonight and especially I'm not even sure is something like this needed yes I don't know is a four-year plan <coughs> needed? it's a four-year plan I know it's a four-year plan and it's going to identify three regions that we should be opening up jobs to yes <coughs> I could probably name those three regions uneducated Okay. Michael, whose office oversees this then? Whose art department? Yeah. Me. Okay. This is also one of the first plans to start qualifying for grants for workforce development. Yes. Yes. That will, it will also help. And as in the subsequent developer agreement for Level 1 Ocean, we put in there, you know, training for certain Mm -hmm. sectors right. which we took as an educated guess this will actually say here you have identify a service provider you can put these people in this field and it'll give us more <coughs> more hope when we negotiate with people moving forward of how to do things better because we chose um, maintenance we chose real estate those are demand occupations but is that the interest in the city is that what the unemployed are looking for and how do we bridge those gaps ideally this also should be adopted as an appendix to the planning to the master plan reexamination report right when we first talked about this I'm going to say a year ago at least a year ago before we went out for RFP you know, there was no question in my mind it was needed and everything but again I see maybe the leaps and bounds we've come as, as far as a city as far as implementing be at the Salt School or 1101 and making part of that workforce development in all projects that I don't know if all of this is needed. And again, that's just my personal hang up. So it's just, I wish it wasn't being presented at the last meeting of the year with no discussion or little discussion. And if you say we can't table it, then no problem. I'll just vote no. And that's, it's a choice. You can put a caveat in there that pending five meetings, so 
or clarification and reject based upon that. You can amend a resolution awarding any way you want to fund it any way you want. I wouldn't know what to put in because they're the ones who said they have six meetings. You're saying, well, maybe they've only met five. Well, we can so say. But they, they explain that they could be single meetings or held in conjunction. But there's, I know they're going to be held in conjunction. I'm not saying there's three meetings in April. They're saying there's going to be one meeting in April. They, they list six months where there's going to be meetings. Unless I'm, I'm reading, everybody look at page five. I mean, it's their timeline. It's their designated meetings. I mean, I can read a simple bar chart. It says six. It doesn't say five. It says six. Not looking to beat a dead horse. Everybody wants to go home. So whatever you want to do. Well, what we can, if if you're concerned about the meetings, what I would recommend is to amend the resolution, saying that the second local elected official meeting, which is scheduled for July, be moved to. August in conjunction with the public meeting and then that guarantees five meetings and if they say no I guess we're looking to do the things different things I guess you're looking at the new one you sent to them. yes okay I'm looking at the old one so I'm it's I just have, it's I have an August meeting it's okay February April May which is a plan a public planning session meeting there was one tentatively scheduled for July which is with the elected officials and then one in August of a public meeting. We just asked them if to combine If the majority that. is for it, let's just get it over with them. Call for know. a vote. I think the majority is for it. Well, I mean, let's just call for a vote. Okay, fine. I have no problem with that. I mean, no, I don't no, want to talk about this easy. for another hour. All right, then, unless someone makes a motion to amend the resolution, the original resolution is on the table for a vote. Okay. okay. Councilmember Chapman. Yes, you're the first one. Um, I can abstain from this because I wasn't here when this went out for RFP, correct? And I was not here for You don't need to give a reason. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to abstain. Councilwoman Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? No. So that passes with a vote of three yes, one no, and one abstention. Okay. Well, it's resolution 2016-488. This is a resolution authorizing award to the SPCA for an animal control contact, uh, contract. Can I have a motion to uh, approve the resolution, please? Move it. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Are you <yeah>, sure? <laughs> Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. And just so everyone knows that SPCA's facilities um, are just really amazing if you haven't been there in Eaton Town. Um, and they'll now be taking um, stray dogs and your dogs animals out of Esbury Park. So this is um, something that we've worked really hard for the last couple of years and really happy about it. Before you go to the next one, um, I emailed the city engineer about the Sunset Avenue footbridge. And he said, that is correct. There's been no work for two weeks. After the test piles were driven, the production piles were ordered, which has a two-week lead time. They are expected to be delivered as early as Friday. Mass pile drivings will commence next week. So the piles have been ordered. They'll be here, and they should be driving them next week. OK. Thank you. When you follow up with a mask, how many feet they're going to be driven? Reply. Not now. Well, this is easy. This is actually nice. Resolution 2016-489, a resolution of the City of Asbury Park, releasing performance bond this is to, for 600 Grand Ave, 405 <coughs> Monroe Ave, 410 to 412 Sewell Ave, Block 3205, Lots 13-15, formerly known as Lots 1 through 12, at Grand Sewell and Monroe Avenues and Hex Street, and accepting maintenance guarantee. Have a motion to approve the resolution? Move it. Second. Any comments or <coughs> questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clinton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016 490, authorizing the City of Asbury Park to grant a license to rent, 
to permit improvements in the area of city right away adjacent to the property located at 901-911 Asbury Avenue block 403 lot 8. Can I have a motion to approve the resolution? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Please. Explain it. Please. I'm pulling it up. Uh, this resolution for 901-911 Asbury Avenue was part of the conditions of the zoning board. That's loud today. <laughs> As part of the final approval and to obtain a CO and zoning compliance, the board has the condition that the city council must approve that they build an irrigation system and trees in the city right away. So the city has the ability to say no, and then the project dies as is, or they have to go back to the board and seek a amended site plan approval, or as proposed, um, the city can grant the right of way extension. Uh, the resolution does state that the applicant shall consult with the Asbury Park Environmental Shade Tree Commission on the proposed tree and plant species. And at this point in time, it's really just up to you guys to either grant the right of way or not grant the right of way uses and probably send it back to the zoning board. Wouldn't it be helpful if we saw like a little map? I mean, how do I know we're not giving away half the street? I had to Google it. I, I Googled it out. as well. There <laughs> is a map of the landscaping plan which showed where? There's not. We don't have it. I don't have it. I have it. Well, <laughs> I see maps at packet pages 164 and 165. She provided that after the fact. Nothing. She attached that. She must have attached it to it after the, the table packets it. went out. Okay. Table, they can wait. Yeah. Move to table. A question before we table. And just because in the last second of the last whereas, whereas the grant of the license be, shall be for a nominal consideration. What's that? Is it, I mean, that, that could be a dollar, it could be a million dollars. So I think that should be more clear. <clears throat> Nominal typically means for a dollar yeah. or okay. $10, something in that range. It means basically they're not paying the city for this um, temporary ability to use what otherwise is considered to be city right of way for the, the new irrigation system and the other new improvements that are being installed in that area. Okay. In the past, we would have approved in, in some circumstances previously, we've granted property owners easements and we've started to go in the direction of a license agreement because license conveys less of an interest to the uh, property owner and it's revocable at the will of the city. So it's more advantageous for the city to always have the right to revoke it, not advantageous to the property owner, especially if they're investing money into doing whatever it is they're doing. But if they're willing to accept that uh, and proceed with their project, that's at their risk. By table this, does it throw any time? I don't think so. You'd be planting trees, putting in the irrigation yeah. Okay, so we're, you're not time. delaying any project. It would just be aware. nice to know what the zoning board okayed to give away city land before yeah. we do it. And why? Yeah. You're not really, just so you understand, you're not giving away city we're land. We're giving you away still the right of way. Use of the right of way. You're giving away use of the right of way right. to some to a property owner but you always have the right to revoke it at your discretion. Okay. Is, is this a property that's changed hands? I don't no, I think he's just changing. It's at the northwest corner, from what I understand, of Memorial and, and Asbury. And, Asbury. and he made an application to the zoning board of adjustment to improve the property in a different respect. And this is all part of the, the improvement project, which includes landscaping um, and, and other new improvements in that area. Okay. okay, so we're not slowing down the process. I, guess I don't believe so. Now. I think it, you okay. can table this. Uh, Deputy Mayor Quinn, do you move the table? Yes. Council Member Kendall, do you second that? Yes. <coughs> Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-491, authorizing the City of Asbury Park to grant a license to permit an encroachment into an area of the city right away adjacent to the property located at 618 Madison Avenue, block 2403, oh. lot three. Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? But just so everybody knows, this one does have 
eight pages descriptions, mm -hmm. has maps, and says it's the right of way above. It's for fire escape. For a fire escape. Fire. So, right. So, I don't want anybody to say, well, you're not being consistent with the other one. So, this one was well defined. Thank you. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016 492. This was added this evening. Um, authorizing the acquisition, support, and maintenance of proprietary software from Target Solutions. Can I have a motion to approve the resolution? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? I can answer. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We're on to ordinances. We have several ordinances on for second reading this evening. First is Ordinance 2016-49, an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 4 General Licensing Section 4-9, Display of Merchandise in Public Areas, Outdoor Sidewalk Cafes, Subsection 4.9-5, Annual Licensing Fees of the Code of the City of Asbury Park. Can I have a motion to open this ordinance to the public, please? Move it. Second. Second. Anybody like to be heard? Motion to close. Move it. Second. Okay. I have a motion to uh, adopt uh, Ordinance 2016-49. Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Ordinance 2016-50, this is an ordinance amending and supplementing section 4-1, business licenses by amending section 4-1-1.4 fees and section 4-1.9, standard of operations, revocation and suspension, complaints of chapter 4, general licensing of the code of the city of Asbury Park. I have a motion to open to the public, please. Move it. Second. <laughs> I was going to be like, Alexis. <laughs> Move to close. Move, Move it. second. Second. Okay, I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 2016-50. Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Ordinance 2016-51, an ordinance and supplementing subsection 3-38.2 entitled penalties of section 3-38 use of bicycles of the chapter three police regulations of the city code of the Asbury Park, New Jersey. I have a motion to open the meeting to the public. Move it. Second. Second. Motion to close. Move it. Second. Motion to adopt ordinance 2016-51. Move it. Second. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Ordinance 2016-52, vacating and dedicating Boston Way right of way. Can I have a motion to open to the public? Move it. Second. No public comment. Motion to close? Move it. Second. Motion to adopt ordinance 2016-52. Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Ordinance 2016-53, an ordinance amending Chapter 13, Property Improvement and Neighborhood, neighborhood Preservation, Property Maintenance Code. Can I have a motion to open to the public, please? Second. There being no public comment, can I have a motion to close, please? Move it. Second. Motion to adopt ordinance 2016-53. Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Halfway through. Ordinance 2016-54, an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 30 Land Development Regulations, Chapter 30-21.1, Establishment and Membership. I have a motion to open the ordinance 2016-54 to the public. Move it. Second. Hearing, seeing no public, I have a motion to close. Move it. Second. Second. Motion to adopt ordinance 2016-54. Move, Move it. it. Second. 
Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kennedy? Yes. Deputy Mayor yes. Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Thank you. Ordinance 2016-55, amending and supplementing subsection 4-10.4 entitled fees, a subsection 4-10 permits for special events of Chapter 4 general licensing of the Code of the City of Asbury Park. I have a motion to open to the public, please. Move it. Move it. Second. Seeing no public comment, motion to close. Move it. Second. Second. Uh, motion to move for ordinance 2016-55, sorry. Move it. <laughs> Second. I'm getting a little punch drunk here. <laughs> Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Ordinance 2016-56, an ordinance establishing salaries to certain employees within the city of Asbury Park, Monmouth County. I have a motion open to the public, please. Move it. Second. Seeing no public comment, motion to close. Move it. Second. Second. Motion to move ordinance 2016-56. Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Last one. Ordinance 2016-57, an ordinance establishing salaries to certain employees for the city of Asbury Park, Monmouth County. Motion to open to the public. Move it. Second. Seeing no public comment, motion to close. Move it. Second. Motion to move 2016-57. Move it. Yes. <laughs> Council Member Chapman. Yes. Council Member Clayton. Yes. Council Member Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. No other business. Motion to move. Uh, or one, to adjourn. one last thing. Oh. Um, oh it's two seconds. The piles are approximately 35 to 40 feet deep. <coughs> are will be driven 35 to 40 feet deep and are 40 feet 45 feet tall. Great. That is great because that means we got a hell of a deduct because they were going to drive them much steeper. Yes, and the manholes and sewer replacements will start on the third for the road program. Don't forget your phone. This is so okay. awesome. All right, motion to adjourn. <laughs> and he feels confident we're on. Happy New Year. Yes, because it did take two weeks. I mean.